All right, YouTube, what's up? We are back in the shop. Got an eighth ounce number six sickle hook and a vise. We're going to tie up some jawbreakers. I got an order of 100 jigs I got to get tied up so I can get caught up and get back out on the lake myself and start doing some fishing. I've already got all my hackle feathers cut, ready to go. I'm going to be using two reds and a chartreuse on this. I'm going to stack them right up. And I don't pay a whole lot of attention about how close I keep them. Or I guess more um, how straight they run. I've said it before, I kind of like the erratic look. I like the... Uh, looks a little more natural like a bug or something. But the way that one fell in, we're going to be using two chartreuse feathers and one red one. Yeah, that one's got that look. That one definitely came out with that look. I like that. Let's move the camera a little bit. Let's get the camera up here. Where... Yeah, right there. So we got our feathers all tied in. Next, I'm gonna use um, Rainbow Pearl Flash. And I don't know why, but somehow this is always the one I ended up using in this jig. The colors just kind of go, go with the color of the feathers and the color of the head. And we're going to cut off about, I'm guessing like four inches. Double it over. Slip it right over top of the eye of the head. Tie it down kind of loose, trying to keep it even running down both sides. And then back up. Then we're going to trim that flash just a little bit past the length of the tail. And on this, we're going with uh, red Chanel. Small. Let's see if I can find a bag for it. I bought some more yesterday. I was at the Plateau Fly Shop in Springfield. Stocked up on a few things. This is what that is, even though I know it says it's backwards. A small Antron Chanel, red. It's a good Chanel to work with. I was up at the Plateau Fly Shop yesterday in Springfield. And they have stocked up now on... New Age Chanel's. You name it, they had it. And they was carrying it all from uh, Cascade. So we are stocked up on some multicolors. We'll be making some nice jig heads out of these. Also, we've got same, some uh, Mirage Flash. Can't wait to throw that in one. That's going to be nice looking. It's going to make for some pretty cool flash. So now we got our Chanel tied on. We are going to put some Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails on it. Rub it on there. ain't much left in that bottle. Get the bobbin out of our way. And then we're going to spin that peak rotary vise. Put a little bit of tension on it. Get it on the other side of your thread. Wrap it down, pull it back over, get it good and tight right there. And there we go. Jig number one. Only got 99 more to go. Not doing them all like this. I'm going to do 10 and 8th ounce, 10 and 16th ounce. And then I got some same two tone colored jig heads. I got some in blue and white, pink and chartreuse, and black and chartreuse. That's it. That's my signature jig, the jawbreaker. I'm sure somebody else has 
tied it way before I ever did that color. But I'm kind of laying claim to it. That's my jig. Pretty sure it will slap one in the mouth. That's it. That jig head come out. Got a little tip there on it. I got the paint on it a little bit thick when it baked. It kind of squeezed out just a little bit, so it's got a little bit of a pointy head to it. I'm pretty sure it'll still work. I don't think there's um, too many crappie that are going to care that it has a little bit of a pointy head to it. I wouldn't think. Could be wrong. Tell you what, we'll tie this one up and then we will tie up a, um, we'll tie up a blue and white one because I'm itching to try that new age Chanel. Trim off your extra. Pick up some uh, tackle that I've already pre-cut. I'm gonna go with one chartreuse and one red. Get my fat fingers out of the camera there. Just like that, see how you got Two feathers, one kind of goes one way and one's one go the other way. I like that. I don't weed through them and not use those. I like those ones that got character to them. And the way I've been laying them on there, I've been going with two chartreuse feathers and one red feather. So you kind of got an erratic kind of look. You got two going one way, one going the other way. There's nothing wrong with that. It'll work. Like I said, I kind of like the look of it. I think I cut that flash a little bit too long, so I'm going to show you what I do when I know I've cut it too long. If I can get another wrap out of it, I'm gonna lay it right back in there. I'm gonna tie it back down. You know, if I cut it and it's only quarter inch too long, sometimes I cut it off. But that one there was long enough, I can actually have four strands of flash in that one. We're gonna put it. A red snail on. Just like that. Anybody that tells you that tying crappie jigs is too hard, don't do it. It's not. It's not hard at all. It's just a little time consuming. And by no means are you ever going to get rich doing it. Usually got enough to maybe go back to the fly shop, stock up on a little more supplies. Maybe put gas in a boat on the weekend. Push that glue down in there. Make sure 
you can see it when you're doing it. When you push that needle down through there, you can see that glue hitting that thread. Just roll it around. Get it all good and coated. Jawbreaker number two. And I'll tell you what, we're going to name this one. We're going to start out with an eighth ounce one. Two-toned, blue and white. Clamp it down in your vise. Get some glue on it. And I'm trying to think of what... What uh, tail I'm going to use in this. But I think we're going to go with a... Pretty sure we're going to have to go with the blue and white tail. Like I said, I'm itching to try that new age snail. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see what one comes out. So give me just a second here. Let me... Oh yeah, we got it. Blue and white feathers. So we're going to look at our snail again. Kind of blue with I see reds, purples, golds. Kind of all depends on what uh, what way you turn it, what all you see in it. A lot of really cool flash in that blue, that new H and L. So we are going to put on a blue. There we go. And put us a blue thread on that one. I don't think I'm going to be using the goat anytime soon. Take the goat off. The only thing I'm not seeing is my thread and bobber. That could be an issue. I found it. It wasn't planned on time, that one, so I didn't wasn't really ready for it, but let's see what it looks like. And this actually might have been prettier with uh, almost a blue feather and a black feather. But I knew I was going to run out, so picked up some more yesterday. Everybody asked me what I use, strung rooster saddle hackle. Saddle hackle is my favorite. I like it better than that neck hackle. Look at that. Tell me that ain't pretty. Nice, good, clean, sharp tips. That's what I look for when I go in a storm bomb. Sometimes. Sometimes I'll dig through, look at the packages and go through maybe five or six of them before I find the ones that are exactly what I want. That is exactly what I want. I don't see any tip in there right now that I could say I would not use. So we're going to cut off two pieces of blue and we're going to go one white one. Same way as I was doing the red, red and chartreuse ones, the um, jawbreakers. We're gonna make, do a blue jawbreaker. And you're gonna see it for the first time. I'm 
Okay, and then the blue one I cut, I cut just a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna hold it right between my fingers. Cut just a little bit off the tip. Put it right on that side, and we're gonna tie that one down. And we're gonna figure out what kind of flash we want in it, and I'm gonna go with, let's go with it. We just bought it, might as well use it. And this is Mirage Flashaboo. So many different colors in that. I thought it was silver when I bought it, and it looks like it's almost more chartreuse. But I think it kind of depends on what you got it laying against. And we cut it just a little bit too long, so we are going to double it back. This one have just a little more flash in it than most of my jigs do. I'm going to trim the end off so that way both ends, both ends are even. Pull it back over. And we're going to tie it down right there. And when you get done tying it, you got a loop. Two loops right here. I get a weird light down here sometimes. This is going to make a pretty jig. I'm excited about this one. I like it. And here is our... New Age Chanel from the Plateau Fly Shop. Brand of it is Cascade. And we're gonna do it the exact same way. Glue it down. Wrap it up. Now I do wish I would have used the black hackle feather in that. Put a whip finish on it, take it out and check it out. <clears throat> that came out nice. I like that. You see the flash in it. Almost blends into the same color, but it stands out. It stands out really good. That is a nice looking jig. I like that. That is cool. <clears throat> like I said, sometimes you get something out, <clears throat> you never tried it, experiment with it. I can see, you know, that as I before I tied it, I was thinking about using a black hackle feather in there along with the blues. It would have worked. I probably should have done it. But I really like the way that come out. It's all about experimentation. Always try on your first couple. You know, I always say when I come down here and I start tying jigs, if I'm going to tie 24 of them for an order, I'm going to paint 25 or 26 of them. I'm... The first one's always going to be my practice jig, and I'm usually going to screw it up, trash it, 
tail's not going to be long enough. By the time I get to roll into my second one, I know exactly what I need, and they usually come out a lot better. But like that, that come out good. Come out nice. Those guys that like those monkey milk colors, um, cold water jigs, that'll work. But that's all I'm going to do today. I might do a live video a little bit later, and I might do it using this new age Chanel. But I want to give the guys at Plateau Fly Shop a big shout out in Springfield, Missouri. They're the ones that started stocking this. They asked me about some colors, and this is what, you know, colors like this is what I told them. And that's what they put in their shop. So i got to say thank you to those guys. Hats off to them for knowing what to keep in their store and knowing how to tell you to tie this right. Um, big shout out Jason Brummel, Jason's Tackle. And I got to say thank you to all my subscribers, 6,400, 6, maybe something like that. I appreciate it. Like, share, comment, hit that bell. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. Send me messages, questions, comments. I'll help you out if you're in the middle of tying a jig or curious about how to tie one. All you got to do is give me a shout out. That is all I got, YouTube.